Okay, what are you hearing about Liverpool's replacement for Jurgen Klopp? Amorim's kind of being, uh, I'm not really wanting to comment too much about that, but he's the bookie's favourite. What are you hearing? Yeah, well, what, I'm, what I've been told is that Ruben Amorim and Roberto De Zerbi are the two leading candidates. Now, there was some suggestions last week that De Zerbi had kind of fallen on the list a little bit. I'm told that isn't the case, but Amorim is the guy that probably shades the, the preference in the sense that, you know, he's managing a big club already, a big club in Portugal. He's he's won a title. He's going to win another title, it looks like, this year. So his pedigree in the sense of managing a big club is, is, is established. They're not as big as Liverpool, as we know, but they are a big club in a big football country. The Zerbi hasn't quite done that yet. And I think that would be a little bit of a, a hesitation, maybe. Can he handle the intensity of managing Liverpool? I suppose he could. But but the benefit that the Zerbi has is that he knows the Premier League. He's managing the Premier League now for a season and a half. So I don't think there's a perfect candidate there. But Amarim is a guy that you know they really like. But the, the fly in the ointment with Amarim is that Barcelona wants him as well. So if Barcelona decide that he's their guy, he's got a massive decision to make because... You know, both clubs have got great appeal, but they've both got kind of downsides as well. I guess the downside of Barcelona is the fact that they've got massive financial problems and the team does need a bit of uh, rebuilding, albeit some fantastic young players coming through. Liverpool's situation is that you've got to follow an absolute legend in Klopp. That team needs some new blood because they've got some of their top players are in their 30s, early 30s now. And also, when you manage Liverpool, you know that if you have a bad season, you can finish fifth or sixth, as they did last season. If you have a bad season at Barcelona, you finish third or fourth. So there's a, there's a kind of a safety net there. So Liverpool need to move quickly, I guess, to get Ruben Amorim if they really want him because there will be rivals there. And I think, I don't know, what you, who would you choose? You know, Barcelona or Liverpool if you had the choice. It's a tough one because they've both got pluses and minuses. So if it isn't Amorim, it could be the Zerbi. But Bayern Munich like him. So Liverpool don't have a straight run to the manager they want. And that is the, that is the danger because in many ways, it could be a little bit like Man United under... So Alex Ferguson, 10, 11 years ago, David Moyes is the sixth choice in the end because mm. they missed out on a lot of other managers because they didn't move quickly enough or they couldn't persuade them to go. So Liverpool have to be on top of it right now to get Amarin. And I'm sure they've got plenty of um, plenty of feelers out, shall we say. But I think there's still a bit of work to do. Janusz, when you look at Amarim and Augie's mentioned Barcelona, the issue for Barcelona is that Xavi might be staying. He doesn't need to be registered for next season. They don't need to pay a transfer fee to get Xavi because he's already there. They would need to do both. They'd need to register Amorim. They need to pay for him as well. So is it for you a straight swap or straight fight, sorry, between Roberto Di Serbi and Ruben Amorim? I, you know, you know, we can sit here, even if it's Amarim, we have zero idea how that's going to pan out because of what happened with Jurgen Klopp. We've seen, I've seen that with Sir Alex Ferguson. It really, I mean, uh, you know, uh, what do we know about Amarim other than what we see out there, right? Uh, uh, as pundits, if you will. So so it's it's very difficult. Does that be a possibility? I don't think Bayern Munich is going to go to Zerbi. They want Nagelsmann. We'll see what happens uh, for him. I, If I'm Liverpool, I'd be going about Nagelsmann as well. But the bottom line here is because coaches like this will always have choices right and there's also going to be that little bit of a panic because so many big clubs are looking for managers it's kind of i don't know if it's unusual but i don't remember the last time that we've had so many big names on the market and of course they know that right so there's they know they're gonna, there's going to be a fight for me a massive club like liverpool and i know that it's probably easier said than done it's got to force their hand I don't know if they did uh, with Xabi Alonso to, the, to, to a degree. I think they did. If I had to guess, I think they pressed him and they probably also knew that, uh, you know, he felt that his job is not done because things at Leverkusen are changing, not just because they're winning, but they're changing their mentality and they want to be a club that's out there for, for the big trophies uh, and not like they've been in the past where they sell the best players immediately. So they forced Xabi Alonso's hand, I think, and that's exactly what they need to do with Amarim because at the very least, uh, a big club like Liverpool needs to know, are we in it? We're not going to be waiting for uh, for Ruben Am- Amarim or, or De Zerbi, right? Uh, let us know, you want the job or not? If not, we move on. This is exactly what I'd be doing. 